In today's video, we're going to be going over my first impressions and a one-month review of the Daily Ots Gino Vitale handcrafted genuine leather pull-on Chelsea Gore dress boots. I'm Bill Sweet. Welcome to the Dad Bod. I love Chelsea boots, and today I'm going to be going over a very nice handcrafted pair of Chelsea boots from a company called Daily Out. The Daily Hot is a men and women's apparel manufacturer and an online store that's headquartered in the United States. If you look on their website, you'll see that most of their footwear is in the under $50 range. However, they recently created a new handcrafted genuine leather line of shoes and boots. And that's where you'll find these bad boys right here. After talking with them for a little bit, I found out that this line was created because they had so many people asking for it. It's the first time that they've produced the Gina Vital brand in full leather construction. They did send me this pair here to review. However, my thoughts and opinions are my own. If they're good, I'm gonna say so. And if there's issues, I'll say that too. So again, this is the box that they arrived in. Let's open it up and take a look. It's always a good sign when your shoes or boots come with dust bags. It helps them to stay protected from scuffing while in transit, and it protects them from moisture and dust. Plus, when you start wearing your shoes, you don't throw the bags away. You use the dust bags to wipe down your boots, similar to how you use a, uh, a cloth for your glasses. We also have a shoehorn. This is what you would use to help put on your dress shoes, so that way you don't ruin the back of them. However, since these are Chelsea boots with a pull tab in the back, I don't need this for these, but I can use it for my other shoes. Yeah, these are even better looking than the pictures on the website. So as you can see, I went with the brown leather. There are several different styles of footwear available for the Gina Vital handcrafted leather line. As of right now, they're all priced between $225 and $250. They have the Brogue Contrast Dress Shoe, Brogue Wingtip Medallion Dress Shoe, Hybrid Casual Brogue Dress Shoe, Side Zip Up Dress Boot, Lace Up Dress Boot, Lace Up Brogue Dress Boot, Chelsea Brogue dress boot, and this one right here, the Polon Chelsea Gore dress boot. At this point in time, since these are handmade, they do have limited quantities available. If the ones that you want are listed as out of stock, just keep checking back. Also, keep an eye on the site because they have some really nice looking shoes in the Gino Vital line that could show up in the handcrafted genuine leather Gino Vital line. These boots come in four different colors and fabric options. They have black leather, brown leather, red suede and honey suede. I was a bit torn between the brown leather and the honey suede. They both looked amazing. I had to flip a coin to help me pick which one to get. So these are available in sizes eight through 13. All right, let's try them on. Since they only have whole sizes available, I got a 13, so I'm rather curious to see how they fit. I tend to wear a size 12 wide or a size 12 and a half. The heel pull tab looks nice and it's on nice and secure. And they fit perfectly. They feel nice on my feet. The shoe is nice and flexible, which means it's more comfortable right out of the box. Now, just a reminder, this is my first impressions and one month review video. So today is when I'm gonna be first trying these on. And then at the end of this video, I'll let you know how they feel after a month. You can see the leather uppers are made with a high quality leather. The elastic on the sides feels nice and sturdy. One issue with low quality Chelsea boots is that the elastic sometimes is made with a cheaper quality which causes them to wear out faster. The quality and the elastic gore on these ones feels great. It's got a nice heel construction. Now I'm six foot three, so I really don't need boots or shoes with a high heel to make me taller. These ones have a low stacked heel, which is really nice, I like them. They also have genuine leather lining on the inside, which reduces wear and tear caused by sweating. All right, let's take a look at the outsole. So this part of the heel is to create more friction so that way you don't slip and same with these notches towards the toe. You can see that these are connected with a Goodyear weld, which is nice because it allows these to be resold instead of being thrown away when the heel starts wearing down over the years. All right, folks, it's been a month. These shoes are still feeling great. I got a few scuffs on them just from, you know, driving and sitting in a chair, but nothing that I wasn't able to fix with a little bit of polish. They felt great when I put them on, but the more that I wear them, the better that they feel, the better that they conform to my feet. The slip resistant on the bottom has been put to the test. I've been out and about in the office a few times, and with the rain that we've had lately, those floors can get really slick. I haven't fallen yet, 
The rubber on the heels great. I don't hear that clop, clop, clop that some of my other dress shoes make on the floors. All in all, these are a great pair of boots. Now guys, Valentine's Day is coming up in just a few short weeks. Don't make the same mistake as last year. Check out this video right here for 10 awesome gift ideas that she's gonna love. I didn't come up with the list. I had women help me make this list. So check it out and I'll see you there.